Orlando, Florida. It's the Cube covering Sapphire Now. Headline sponsored by SAP HANA Cloud, the leader in platform as a service, with support from Console Inc., the cloud internet company. Now here are your hosts, John Furrier and Peter Burris. Okay, welcome back, everyone. We are here live in Orlando, Florida, for SAP Sapphire Now. This is Silicon Angle Media's flagship program, The Cube, where we go out to the events and extract the signal from noise. I'm John Furrier, my co-host, Peter Burris. I want to give a shout out to our sponsors, SAP HANA Cloud, Console Inc. at Console Cloud. Check them out, it's a hot new startup in Silicon Valley. Uh, Virtual Stream, EMC, Capgemini. Thanks to our sponsors for us being here. Okay, our next guest is Henrik Wagner, who's the Global SAP GTM for Virtual Stream. Welcome back, and, and uh, Mike Harding, Director of Architecture of EMC IT. So I, I guess it's a little tie in here. Henrik, good to see you again. Fantastic to see you. Uh, you look great. Good. Been following you on Twitter. Been very impressed with your Twitter tweeting action, your social. Been sharing a lot of great data. It's been great to follow the virtual stream action. Um, what are you seeing? What's the update? We saw you last night at the virtual stream party. Saw Rodney the night before. Everyone's still got a spring in their step with the acquisition with EMC. So, it's, is the honeymoon over, or is this still no? Going well? I don't think it is. <laughs> I think it's going to last for a long time, and that's because of customer demand and where the partner community is going. Uh, I think, first of all, we've built, Rodney and team has built a fantastic platform, purpose-built for enterprise, for SAP, for HANA, but what we're seeing in the community with the use cases is we're being pulled in in a lot of places. And a lot of places that a year or two ago that you wouldn't think that they would look at a enterprise cloud for mission critical workloads like SAP or HANA. So not only are we out there pushing it, but we're being pulled in both from the customers and from uh, the partner community, which is pretty exciting. So what's the big update for Virtual Why are people using Virtual What was the main value that you guys was such a hot target by EMC, and I heard others as well. It wasn't just SAP, you guys were doing some other cloud stuff, but it was really a lot of early SAP running, bolting yeah. it together. Take us through that progression sure. of why Virtustream was so powerful on SAP. Yeah, you know, I think a couple of things. One is that Rodney and KR, who started the company, they started in 2009, 2010, so they didn't have legacy baggage of infrastructure and software and solution. They built something fresh with the latest technology. And when they started building the platform, they took a look at what are the challenges SAP and HANA customers have. You know, silos of infrastructure, silos of groups, automation, all the manual stuff that it's not happening, you know, billing, you know, how do you consume a cloud, how do you do consumption-based billing, how do you get better resource management out of the infrastructure. So they went and built a cloud platform from scratch, the software, what we call extreme cloud management platform, sat that on top of our infrastructure as a service, our data centers, and then deliver a purpose-built enterprise cloud to tackle all those challenges that many of these SAP customers have. And a lot of those value props and how we solve those problems are right, right in the heart of where these customers are wanting us to help. And I would say the last thing is a fantastic experience and portfolio of services from advising the client, understanding, advising, assessing, migrating and onboarding the client, whether it's HANA migration, OSDB migration, migrate them onto the cloud, and then doing managed services, whether it's infrastructure managed services or basis managed services on the whole package. And I think combination of the software and the functionality and the services that we're able to offer, we can offer a better SLA, lower TCO overall, and our SAP clients are, are really happy. They're moving more and more of their HANA and SAP workloads to our cloud. But you guys started with deep domain expertise to the platform. And that's one of the advantages, especially as SAP makes it more of a platform play, that's one of the advantages that you and others can bring to try to drive that deep expertise yeah. in the platform and come up with conventions and models and digitization techniques that allows customers like EMC, who are mm -hmm. using the platform, to more rapidly implement that expertise in the form of those digital assets. Yeah. Talk a little bit about what you guys did together to accelerate this process with Inside EMC itself. So, so in fact, it's a great point, Peter. I, before joining uh, EMC, I had been an SAP consultant for years, and I'd gone through, quite frankly, a couple different battles with hosting providers with SAP. And to your point, 
they didn't quite know the platform. And whereas, you know, here with VirtuStream, they knew the platform quite well. Not only that, but they had, I would say, a little bit of a, a niche and a unique play with this concept of a consumption-based model, right? The micro VM uh, capabilities. So as a customer, not only am I attracted to the fact that there's an availability and a reliability play because they know the platform, but I actually get much more granular uh, cost management uh, out, of this, out of the platform. And so as a consequence, you're able to make commitments to your organization that you might not be able to make if you were using other partners. Absolutely, and I can be fully transparent with them, right? Whereas in the traditional kind of CapEx investment model, it's a little more, it's a little more difficult to be as transparent as possible with those, those financials, right? So talk about the thought process that you went through as you conceived of the challenge of doing it on premise, yep. but also now, thinking yep. about how you might incorporate the advantages of the cloud in your implementation. Great. And you know, obviously, in how, how VirtuStream's helping right. with that. Great question. So, um, because that's actually a question I get from a lot of different customers as we're starting to tease out what's the roadmap, what's the methodology or the approach. Um, we are still a growing SAP customer. We've been live now for roughly five years. Um, very, very, uh, very. You guys virtualized. Very virtualized everything, yes, as we went off the gate. Now we've got quite a bit of a, I'd say, a mixture within our portfolio of HANA, um, more traditional database platforms, some virtual, some physical we've had to do for HANA. Um, and now we're at the point where it makes sense for us to actually you know, reduce how much more CapEx we need to, we need to uh, investments we need to make, and start to take kind of what we'd term maybe your low hanging fruit and push those assets off prem. So some of the tenants we thought about are things like, is it going to introduce any latency to my end users, for example? Am I going to have any security challenges from a compliance perspective? Um, and so what we started to do is map out, you know, one by one from an application perspective where it's going to make sense to push uh, some of our assets off-prem. And then at the same time, we're starting to flush out, this is now a whole level of flexibility I didn't have in the past. If a project came to me and said, hey, I need an environment by tomorrow, I couldn't do it. So now with that kind of, th the fact that we have that cloud of um, environment available to us, it's giving us a lot more flexibility to meet our business needs. So you can stand up stuff really quickly. Really that quickly. That was the whole goal. Yep, yep. well that's, that's a piece of it, piece yes. Of it. Yeah. Is well, VirtuStream was... providing some of that thought leadership and some of those models and some of those methods? How are you working with Mike to help the business think those issues through? Yeah, I, I think it's interesting because we really, you know, he's built a fantastic private cloud on-premise as the journey began, uh, started for them, right? Now if you think about it on what I described, we deliver the performance and security of a private yep. cloud, but the economics of a multi-tenant cloud on our platform. So one of those use cases then was actually SNOP on HANA, so sales and operations planning, deployed on HANA, it's a new application that only runs on HANA, and they are now taking that and putting it on VirtuStream's cloud to right. create that hybrid use case. Which, which application is that? Sales and operations planning, ah. SNOP on HANA. SNOP. Probably want to share a little bit more about that particular use case. Yeah, so it's uh, as we released actually a whole new coding solution uh, to our sales engineers, one of the things that came up early was the ability to get a little more granular on you know, sales and operational planning, right? So um, we had kind of invested in this, started to deploy it on-prem. Um, it's growing faster than we have capacity for right now. So it's what we're kind of at the point where we have to make a decision. Do we invest in more you know, infrastructure at this point, or do we start to push some of our workload out to the cloud? And again, considering some of those tenants I, meant pre I mentioned previously. So this to me was a really good candidate to start to push off-prem and into a cloud-based so solution. So let me take you through that a little bit. Let me guess how that thought process went. Uh, so the sales and operations, can, with a lot of configuration planning, complex product set, end of the month? Correct. Yep. Much of the rest of the time, yep. so exactly. the cloud offers you the scalability. You don't have to manage a, your own network Correct. for that mobile application, because a lot of it's happening on the ground in front of the customer. Yep. You can do that out of the cloud. Yep. So there, those are the types of things that make this the type of a deployment so attractive. Correct, and the thing I want to harp on a little bit, you just nailed it, right? The usage of this particular application is very much peak driven, and it's let's say three or four days out of the month when it's really hitting that peak volume. Why would I make an investment in supporting this, especially when I get that consumption-based visibility of, of Extreme in the micro VM, when I can you know, get, leverage that directly, and by the way, now it's an immediate chargeback directly to the business. If this is what you guys really want, we're, we're giving it to you, and this is what you're paying for it. And if they want to find ways to level that out over time, yep. then your CEO is like, fantastic. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I mean, that's really one of the key 
components of what the IP and the solution that we deliver, you know, this consumption-based billing, really the light switch like yep. your house. So in those busy period, you know, consuming more resources, so obviously higher consumption when it, we're, you know, not the busy period going down. And we measure that with the micro VM in a five minute increment and we aggregate it up through a month. So, you know, really much lower TCO and also, yep. like you said, doesn't have to go buy those really expensive infrastructure to meet that peak load. And uh, no, look, uh, as a guy who has, you know, worked with a lot of CIOs over the years, nobody likes a job where you're constantly having to defend your chargeback your system. Yep. Exactly. This is real time and money, and it's really clear what the bill looks like and why. So yep. that's very, uh, that means a CIO can spend more time focusing on the business issues and, and building out those new applications Correct. and putting Correct. the next thing into the cloud because the billing and the certainty. The squabble's going better. on over who did that. Exactly. Exactly. Let's that's get down exactly. to the right. bottom that's line. He can go out and innovate, which is what exactly he's expected <laughs> to do, right? Yeah. yeah, so we've heard a lot about partnership here at SAP. Is this arrangement making it easier for EMC in particular to reach out into the SAP ecosystem and start to find either software that is a little bit more sanctioned by SAP like the extension partners or other partners? Are you finding your business saying, well now that we can do this, there's a lot more options to pick and choose from and is it making it easier for you to bring up that new function? Yeah, I, would, I mean, I would Probably, for sure, yes. We're, without question, it's bring, giving EMC as a company better exposure, I think, to the, let's say, the SAP ecosystem, right? Um, and so from my perspective, somewhat selfishly, having been, being an old st stalwart in the SAP space, um, I'm, I'm definitely excited about the opportunity that, that's yeah. ahead. And, and for Virtual Stream, I mean, because Rodney and Kevin Reed, right, our founders, had a 30-year history starting with SAP and Accenture and started a joint consulting and sold that to Capgemini, because of the history of SAP in the background, they have extremely good yeah. relationship with the, SAP. As you know, SAP was a, a D round investor know, of 40 million. They know exactly million. the whole Exactly. So yep. that it's, and they have history. Yeah, yep. and, and so now, you have been here at Sapphire, as an example, the uh, demo showroom that SAP salespeople uses, it sits on Virtual Streams Cloud. The NS2 platform, their DOD, FedRAM certified platform that SAP sells, sits on our cloud. We just launched our HANA Enterprise Cloud platform, so that's our joint ability to work with SAP and contract customers on HANA Enterprise Cloud and then VirtuStream delivers out of our data center both infrastructure, service, and basis, and the customer really gets accountability together with SAP, but the benefits of all the flexibility and all the values of the platform that we provide. So the relationship and the doors are opening up fantastically well. It's really, really been uh, exciting to be here at Sapphire. Guys, final question. Just share with the audience the vibe of the show this year. What's the overall take? You can be specific about you know, Virtual Stream and what's going on in your world. But outside that too, what's going on outside of what your world is? What's the general vibe? What's the aroma of innovation? So uh, for me per per personally, it felt like two or three years ago when you were coming to these, uh, we were, as a customer, one of the few that had already been uh, invested in and live with SAP HANA. Um, nowadays, that's totally a thing of the past. And we totally did with Tom Peck back in 2010 right. to you know, <laughs> and everyone and in between. And then you know, the CIO, what was his name, Sanjay, was on theCUBE. Yeah, when so he was you just mentioned that. CIO at the yeah. time. And he virtualized everything. You Correct. guys were one of the first to virtualize. Correct. just a product. Correct. And now all of a sudden it's like yes. 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 The, the foundation. Right, and so now I think the next step that folks are now starting to think about is okay, what is this S4 thing? How real is it? How can I start building my business case around it? Because there's a lot there. How can I start building my business around yeah. it? Yes, as well. <laughs> Great point. <laughs> uh, and so that I think is a little exciting and starting to have those conversations around, you know, as a community here, well, here's our what's our what's next move. Henrik, uh, I want you to answer the question in two languages. First in English, <laughs> and second in you Swedish. You know, somebody did that to me just recently, <laughs> and I literally, even though I'm from Sweden, I speak fluently, I stumbled through, because there's all <laughs> these English world, you're trying right, to translate right, right, real right. time. <laughs> I need a HANA database in my brain when I do that. <laughs> but I'll start with English. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think, you know, two things. On the SAP side, I'm really excited about the innovations they're doing around HANA and then S4 HANA from an application perspective. A good friend of mine said something a couple, uh, I think it was two years ago. He said, you know, there's a reason we drive cars today, right? The first cars before the horse and carriage, you know, they learned a lot of lessons. They weren't perfectly built, they, they, you know, things broke and they fixed it. Well, today we drive cars and we drive Teslas today, right? We're not in horse and carriage. So the innovation and the courage of SAP to take that next step and 
drive innovation and still balancing the risk, both from the platform perspective and then on the application as for HANA. I'm, that's why I'm really excited to be around SAP because I think that's so cool. I'd rather be around and work with around a company that's willing to drive and take that There's next step. There's a lot step. of joint development going on too. You see yeah. a lot of SAP yeah. co-innovation going on. Exactly, and then I would say the other thing from the cloud perspective, I mean, we've done at, you know, 12 years at EMC, cloud, private cloud, on-premise, but we always had service provider partners from an off-premise cloud, and I think now with Joe Tucci, Sponsorship, and Rodney, acquiring Virtustream, not only do we have the enterprise mission critical cloud, right, that we talked about around SAP use cases, HANA use cases, at EMC World we just launched the storage cloud. So extension for archive, for backup, for object store, the Rubicon cloud, and you know, for us to see that innovation of EMC going into that, EMC Federation of Virtustream, really going into the different use cases, specific use cases to solve customer problems. I just been very impressed on Tucci of willing to do that innovation and go to the next step instead yeah. of just relying on the existing revenue. And final uh, comments in Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Vård uh, Cloud for Virtustream is uh, the enkla knappen for SIP. So, so, so you, now. I just told you so not, that you have to lose weight. No. Put it Danish. <laughs> so, I'm going to get a translator. Hold so, on, let me get Google <laughs> translator on. So, what I said was that Virtus Team's cloud is the easy button for enterprises around Woo! SAP. All right. Oh, like Virtus Team is the easy button. Um, thanks for coming on. Thanks for sharing your insights and your linguistic knowledge and prowess. Congratulations. We are live here in Orlando. This is theCUBE, Silicon Angles flagship program. John Furrier with Peter Burris. You're watching theCUBE. There'll be millions of people in the near future that are, want to be involved in their own personal well-being and in wellness.